Legion in particular is, is a group, right? It's, it's a small army. The word is so old that like, it didn't have, it didn't have a feeling behind it yet. I came up with the name. <laughs> he had terrible names, bro, terrible. Corey had brought it up, he, he suggested it. And then when I started playing with the typography, I saw that you can put a 3-9 in it. So it was like Legion of 39th Street. And he was like, oh, the EG could be a 3-9. And I'm like, boom. It represents a lot of things. Home, the struggle, perseverance, odds. Just an understanding that no matter how dreadful things look, you gotta keep you gotta keep pushing, you gotta keep moving, you know, you gotta hold on to hope because hope is everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spiling up, just like a rich nigga staircase No fly zone, please stay the fuck out my airspace Niggas say things behind back, shit they wouldn't dare say No, it's on sight when I see you, I'm working at Squarespace Yeah, top of the morning, I know that you thought I was dormant Woke up early from shots that was swarming A block from the Alps, not a cops in the orbit Cause somebody got I like to look my best when it's time to perform And that's why I like you to see me wearing gold chains It's because I want to look good Look good, feel good, race good. I got some Gucci socks for Christmas. And uh, one of my team, the team owner called me and was like, dude, why are you buying Gucci socks? And I was like, well, first of all, I didn't tell him it was for Christmas, but I'm like, what? He's like, uh, basically he knows what he pays me. It was, it was $400 a month. And he's wondering how I have on Gucci socks. And I'm just like, that's the type of stuff that we like deal with here. Like they pay attention to your pockets. Like as of right now with the state of cycling, I can't tell a little, uh, some kid from the hood with the one option to focus on cycling. That would be bullshit because there's nothing here yet. I think I made in six years, $25,000 from cycling. You could get, you go work at McDonald's and make more than that in one year. And they're like, why do you want to like stand out so bad? And I knew I needed to build like my personal brand. And I figured if I can build my personal brand, I can actually make a living off of that. Look at the speed right now! Coming down to the line! Corey oh, Williams! Oh, 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 out cold the line, Terrence St. Louis! God damn it, Sam, you messed it up, bro. Yeah, yeah man. We hear all the sound from you flushing your doo-doo down the toilet. <laughs> we built one of the best teams in the country by really going with our gut and, and bringing in people that like were not only extremely talented, man, but just had something to prove. I'm Tyler Williams from Santa Rosa, California, and I race for Legion of Los Angeles. I turned pro with BMC development team at 18. That life, it's really hard. You sink or swim, kind of. And for a while, I swam for a bit, and then I sank for a bit, and then I ended up here, so. I love you, man. so proud of you, They knew what it felt like to be forgotten about. They knew what it felt like to be, you know, written off. That's the best race I've ever in my life. Yeah, it is. I signed with the number one ranked team in the world for 2018 when I was 18. I was racing at the world tour level for three years and I, it didn't go so well in 2019, so I thought maybe I was done. But to come back with Legion really proved to myself more than anything that I'm back on the rise. We have Skylar Snyder who's won like 20 fucking races this year, who's an incredible talent. She's in the pink jersey, she's riding well. And Skylar is just killing it, man. I, I don't think she'll lose that jersey and I hope she don't lose that jersey because then she's gonna make me look bad. Let's give a shout out to the ladies as well. We are really good. The culture of this team is the most cohesive of anything I've ever seen. It's a lot different of a culture in Legion. 
I think we have a lot more fun. We focus a lot more on keeping everyone's morale high and not just people who are having success. I'm very happy. They're, they're very sweet people and they are welcome at any time. We have a lot of other things going on off the bike every time we go to a city. It's not just sitting in a hotel all day and thinking about the race. We're more successful because we do things in all the communities and we're making such an impact in every city and then they come watch us race and it's just a lot more special. For me, I just want people to be themselves because a lot of the times you weren't allowed to be yourself on uh, other teams. So when you have to be fake, man, it's, it's not fun, it's kind of stressful. All right, well, this is the moment we've been waiting for. Let's go ahead and launch this group in three, two, one. Gentlemen, Akiyamo, go get him, guys. Up, up, up. Drew Man out on course. This begins the hour of power. Go, come on, Drew Christopher. Criterions are what we do. I would never take anybody to a road race ever. And in a road race, you see someone like one time and that's it. You watch them go by and then you go home. And then at a crit, you see people pass like 35 times. And you can see the race developing. People are banging on the boards. People are screaming at the top of their lungs. It feels like a block party. I think the issue is that people say we're only a crit team as if it was something negative. The culture at those races suit our American culture so much more and they're so much more appealing. And Criterium Racing is a chess game at 30 miles an hour. Watching a hundred guys go into a corner inches away from each other, hearing crashes and screaming, and you're feeling it because the fucking ground vibrates. Once we get the media down pack and create hype around, you know, Kurt Racing, I think people will come out. All, all you gotta do is get them there. And then once, you know, they're there, the racing will actually do the rest. As a young man growing up, man, I, I didn't have the tools, I didn't have the resources. Being black from the hood, you're involved in this sport that's 99% white. And like nobody being able to relate or having no, no one to be able to have that conversation with. If you can't have those conversations and you're not having those conversations, it, it like festers. On top of that, it being this, it being this unchecked bubble where people can say whatever the f they want and they think it's a game. It's nobody looking over them. There is no HR. It's just them doing what they want, taking their cut of the fucking money and then saying like, you get to live the dream and that's your payment. And it's fucking bullshit. I always say cycling isn't the hardest thing I had to deal with, right? Being black in America is harder than cycling, and that's the reason that I'm still here. Oh, what's crazy is I don't think a black person has ever won the PRT. So I might, you know, if I can hang on to it, I might be the first uh, African American or black person, period, to win the PRT. So that'll be, uh, that'll be pretty massive, actually. For the culture, I think it means a lot, you know. Our whole thing is to inspire these young uh, kids of color to get into the sport and to show them that you know everything is possible so if I can hold on to that it'll be massive to even promote <sighs> he's gonna win and when he does win it'll be fucking incredible people don't like change let's be honest they don't like change but if you're not ready for a change and that's that's kind of too bad because the change is coming <laughs>long-term vision of this is to create, gather, build the best talent from different places and give them a place to do their thing. The NBA, the NFL, all of these other sports that create a team for people to follow, that, that's the model that we're following. We're, we're trying to create a franchise, essentially, where people like maybe one day if this team is around long enough, hopefully it is, that they could be like, yeah, this is my dad's team. If you listen to any rap song, man, a lot of times it's talking about everybody that doubted me, all of the shit that I've been through, I'm here now. And like, that's that's the vibes on race day. It's like, we here now. Hey man, when you get disrespected your whole life, you learn how to be a, a savage, man, yo. 
No mercy. We're the most disrespected team in America, man. So let's be disrespectful. And I'm in the now. And it don't take no x-ray to see right through my smile. I know. I be on the go. And it ain't no drink out there that can numb my soul. All we wanna do is take the chains off. All we wanna do is break the chains off, man. All we wanna do is be free. All we wanna do is be free. All we wanna do is take the chains off. All we wanna do is break the chains off, man. All we wanna do is be free. All we wanna do is be free.